All right, nestlings, we are back with the most epic Comic-Con planner, and it is time to start creating the sections that we set up in chapter one. So the section for this video is the travel plan section, and I have kind of a little outline I made for myself of a possible, like possible pages, including packing list, also including a maybe like outfit schedule for the convention and all of that. So we have all this dot grid paper that we put in here. And I was kind of looking through it and I decided to go ahead and just pull out the first page that we had set up, which has like a holographic foil on the side. And we're gonna start with the kind of cover page of travel plans, including like hotel, um, airfare, and all that good stuff. So, I have the Happy Planner travel book and that's what I'm planning on using to really devise a lot of these pages. So I grabbed a map of the United States and then I realized that I wanted to put travel plans in letters rather than in just me like handwriting it. And so I had to go through and find a sticker book that would actually have that would actually have the travel, like the letters. And I was having trouble finding them and I remembered that I had them in the student sticker books that I had taken apart. And so some of those pages are sitting around and I had to locate those pages in order to be able to use those letters. I also discovered that I was probably gonna need a pair of tweezers. So. I decided to use these green letters. They came from one of the student books. I don't recall which one. And here's where I discovered that I needed a pair of tweezers and I had to go and get those. I don't typically use tweezers with my planner, um, but for this, I felt like trying to get it straight. I was using the dot grid, but I still felt like I wasn't getting it as straight. But you can see like I immediately <laughs> abandoned the tweezers and go back to using my hand. Um, and so, like, it's not 100% straight, but it's completely fine. I decided to offset the words just to give it a little dynamic, and that way I could maybe add a little bit of decoration as well. I did find some space-themed, like, washi, and I think that that will go really well here. And so I went ahead and laid down my map of the United States, and I was gonna use these like geo dot locators to kind of put like where I'm going to and where I'm going from. So I get a little red one um, down kind of like in the center of Texas to go to central Texas. And then I'm looking and I'm like, hey, you know what? I need to figure out exactly where Chicago is because this map was very, very confusing. So what I realized is that they have green in an area that is actually not a state it's actually one of the great lakes and that's what was confusing me was that i'm like this isn't a state and so i did figure it out and put my little blue dot right where chicago is and then a little green or a little green a little gold uh gold foiled arrow showing that i'm going from one dot to the other and so now as I'm flipping through the travel book because I'm trying to remember what all the stickers are that are in here I don't use this book a lot uh, so it was kind of like hey I need to remind myself I grabbed the destination word because I'm gonna write Star Wars Celebration Chicago and then to and from to Chicago from Austin and then there's these really cute words like the days of the week and like the date sticker so I grabbed Tuesday or Thursday sorry and then these little letters that look like a typewriter font and so I grabbed Thursday to Monday because the convention is Thursday to Monday and then I can put the dates right next to Thursday and Monday now here is the washi that I found and Right in the middle of all of this, my cat starts going bonkers. She loves anything round. She loves washi tape, and she will try to steal it if she can. And she and I were having a little bit of a fight. 
So this like Galaxy Nebula washi I think is just really really pretty and then I decided to accent it with this gold kind of sparkly foil washi and just kind of like add a little bit of pizzazz to the page. So now we have where we're going. I added a little bit of decorative items with these little compass stickers. And now it's time to add the flights. So I matched my flight info stickers with the colors of the days of the week that I use. So Thursday, which is going to be my outbound flight, I grabbed a yellow flight info sticker. And for Monday, the day that I'm coming back, I grabbed a blue one. So that way they match. And then I grabbed some of these little date headers and was putting the date stickers right above because the flight info sticker just has like the flight information and the times. It doesn't necessarily have the date on there. So I wanted to make sure that I added the date. And then as I was going through, I knew the next thing I needed to add to this page was a hotel sticker. I had some major trouble with the sticker and getting it straight. And I tried to ignore it. And I think I take the sticker on and off like two or three times because the second time it was even more crooked than the first time. So I can write all the hotel information right there. And now I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the rest of the space. So I grabbed a little quote that says like time for fun with some gold foil since I have a couple of kind of gold foily things going on on this page. And there's lots of cute icons and stuff, but I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So I ended up grabbing three of these little hexagons and just making a little like travel hexagon corner, which I thought was pretty cute. And then I was, it was like, I was looking for quotes. I just wasn't sure. And then I just grabbed one of these little icon bags and just stuck it in the corner. You can tell like I was major having some issues. I wanted to add more, but I finally just had to give up. All right, so now it's time for a packing list. So I kind of have my packing list set up into different categories. I have my clothes, I have my backpack, and then I have like things that are non-clothes related. And so I'm using these packing list stickers for my backpack and for like my makeup and accessories and things that are not clothes related. So this first one that I've laid down, I'm planning on using it for my backpack, maybe. Um, either way, I haven't 100% decided which way I want to go about it, but I decided to grab another packing list sticker and put it on this page. And so one is going to be for accessories and things, and one is going to be for my backpack. And then I added a couple of the little travel icons down at the bottom just to jazz it up a little bit. Okay, now I need to do the packing list for my clothes. So I had this idea to use the journaling doodles book with these bigger shapes and categorize my stuff like shoes, pants, shirts, things like that. And so I grab one of these banners. It's going to say like packing list or something at the top. I'll eventually fill it in. And then I went to the hexagons and I had five different categories for uh, packing. And so I just grabbed six or five of these hexagons and just threw them on here in random order, just kind of like alternating, not anything very specific, just sort of whatever pleased my eye. And then these little label stickers are going to be like the names. So like shoes, shirts, pants, that kind of thing. And I just kind of put these, again, very random, just whatever was pleasing to my eye at the time. I just sort of had the idea in my head. I didn't actually have it like drawn out or sketched out or anything. I just wanted to see what came out as I did it. So then I grabbed the journaling doodles book and I wanted to add a little bit of decor because I can color these in with like colored pencils and I have watercolor pencils too. So I grabbed some little cute hand drawn like florals and just toss some of those on there. And then I saw the glasses and I realized, you know what? I need, I have lots of different pairs of glasses. I should probably 
write down which glasses I'm going to bring with me because I can't bring them all. That would be stupid. But they do go with different. They make my face look different. And they anybody who has glasses understands they make your face look different. And you have different colors that can kind of go with different outfits. So that's kind of cool. All right. So on the back side, I wanted to make a outfit schedule. Um, nor, a lot of people will do this in an Excel spreadsheet. I know one of my friends does that. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're creating a calendar. And notice that I am creating the calendar with the, the part of the page that is going to be up against the disks is going to be the top part so that it's easier to so it's easier to write. So I'm counting how many dot grid spaces I have because I need to split this up into five days. And so I needed to do a little bit of math uh, to figure out like how much space would be even. And I realized that I had gone over a little too far. So I got to shorten down the the entire like little box that I drew. Now I'm still going to have to uh, ink this in so that it is not just pencil lines but for now I am just splitting this into five days and my plan is to give each column a, a day of the week so I go into the journaling do or the journaling book not the journaling doodles and I am grabbing these days of the week titles that have some gold foil on them and they're just like white stickers and so I can kind of like overlap them so that the word goes into the middle of the column. And then we need some dates. And since there's not a lot of room at the top, I'm putting the dates in the corners of the boxes for the days of the week, which is the 11th to the 15th. And then grabbing the month of April in gold foil, I went ahead and put that at the bottom. And so to give you an idea of how I'm planning on doing this, I'm planning on grabbing some sticky notes and putting like my different outfit possibilities on all the sticky notes. And then I can just move them around into the different days rather than actually writing everything down very permanently. And so now I'm trying to find some quotes because I want to add a little bit of decoration around the outfit scheduler. And my first thought was to use a quote that says world traveler. I ended up actually ruining that sticker 100% completely. So the sticker I put down here says, well, I can't read it because my planner's not next to me, but, and I don't remember exactly what it says, um, but it was something about like, you know, being your true self. And the one I put on the side is really awesome because it's a Disney quote. It says, all you need is faith, trust, and a little pixie dust which I thought was perfect because, you know, Star Wars, Disney, all that stuff. And then I went into the, either the gold quotes book or the happy quotes book. I can't remember which one. And I found these sort of little hand drawn asterisk stars, which match the design on the side of the page. And then this clear sticker that says fierce and fabulous because that just definitely for me goes with outfits. And then I grabbed some little hearts and some more of those little asterisks just to add some decoration. And we're finished. So now we have our packing list. We have our outfit schedule. We have our basic travel page that has all of our travel details on it. But now in the middle of this packing list page, it looks a little on the blah side. And I also need to have a little list of things that I actually do need to buy. So that's what I'm creating right now with a little label sticker and a sticker that says treat yourself and a little asterisk. And I'm going to write stuff to buy right there. And then, of course, we've got to add a little decor because I don't like that it's just so blank. And pardon the shadow from my window. The sun was starting to come in from a different area. So I put this sticker down. It says, by doing what you love, you inspire. 
and awaken the hearts of others. And that is definitely what I'm doing going to Star Wars Celebration. And then this bottom sticker says beautiful and happy life. And we're all done and ready to put it back into the planner. So we have our core travel page that has all our travel details, our packing list, and our outfit schedule. And then as I was going through, I just had way too much paper in this section. I gave myself a couple extra pages just in case I would need it, but I ended up not needing it. All right, so if you guys want to be able to see all of the rest of creating the sections of this epic Comic-Con planner, please make sure that you subscribe below. And all the pictures you're seeing right now are with me actually finalizing it, writing everything in, and having it with all of the pin that I was going to put in it. Well, except for my packing list. I'm not ready to make those yet. But if, like I said, if you want to see more, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because we have several more sections to do and I would hate for you to miss some of it. So thank you guys for joining me and may the force be with you.